All right, guys. So we're gonna play Afterburner today. It's me and my brothers. You saw from last time. This is an arcade classic. For start, it's one player. This might be a one player game. It we're is. We could take turns. So basically, down is up. And the way this game works. You have a limited gun and a limited missile, so you really just the goal is just not to get hit. I remember this used to look a lot better when I was young. Oh uh, yeah, of course. Well, you're not doing too bad for having played this in a while. Uh, the trick is you have to watch out for those missiles, and usually you could avoid them if you just turn like this. And you could actually, a lot of people don't know this, but you could that. Oh, there I died. You could actually shoot the missiles, and it blows them up. Alright. Let me try one more time, and then I'll let you take it. I remember one thing really cool with this game, you see, you, you turn left and right real quick, and look at, oh, I don't know if it does it anymore, I could have sworn, here, let me let you try, what a you, barrel roll, you used to be able to do a barrel roll if you turn left and right real quick, there you go, you yeah. got it, I don't like this game, it's getting me dizzy, well look, now we're at the second stage, this stage is a little bit better, it's the same basic principle. You do have a radar on your top right screen, but I don't know how much it really helps. I don't think it does anything. Well, the main thing is, see, if you get like that, usually you could avoid anything, but uh, it's when you turn around like that that they, they get you. And that's it. Three men and you're out. I think there used to be a continue, but I don't remember how to do it. That's it. Let's try it again. Alright. Hey, you gotta admit though, the graphics aren't bad for a bit. They're not bad, it's just very disoriented. And this game's getting me dizzy as shit. The arcade was pretty good. See right there you just shot the missile. That's what you gotta do sometimes. Is there fueling and do you lose fuel or no? Cause I know it's yeah, I, I think you do. As a matter of fact, I think there's... Uh, I think you do have to refuel in this game in the air. Or is that F-16? It might be F-16. Yeah, this one's alright. I'm not a big fan of these airplane games. And it's hard to tell when the damn thing passes you safely. So no enemies come straight at you, just the missiles? Just the missiles. Well, well each stage the enemies fly different patterns, like those are different airplanes and they're going a different pattern, but... I haven't seen any planes that come straight at you. Yeah, there we go there. Try again? Eh, one more time. You know, I don't think that, I think this is probably like the only game I remember talking. It said get ready, it's not much, but I don't There's remember any little... other games that said that. How many stages are there? I don't know. I don't think I've ever made it past the third. Does this game even have an ending or do you think it just repeats? No, I'm sure it has an ending. See, when the planes go, you see how there's a little bracket around them? That means that your missile's locked onto it. 
but yeah, it's gonna get me right there. Ah, uh, you missed that. Uh, oh, now there's helicopters. Never seen that one. The main challenge of this game is just making sure you don't get hit, because like that, I think they the helicopter ran into me, so maybe they do come at you. I don't know. I mean, I guess the game is a little cheap because you really shouldn't have unlimited missiles. I can understand having unlimited gun, but the missiles are unlimited also. So, so I mean, the main goal is just not to get hit. Well, that's interesting that it's unlimited missile, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes, like, I try to stay in the middle of the screen, but you could actually get down real low if you wanted to. But the enemies just follow you to wherever you're, if you're high or low, so it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, there we go. This is a Sega title that Sega hasn't used in a while, actually. They still make Sonic games and shit, but... They haven't made an afterburner title in ages. I know, I remember using the arcade though, it was awesome. Boy, you just fly like that the whole time and avoid you, everything? You just gotta move. But sometimes you can't, because sometimes you'll spin out of control like that. Oh, I think I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. I think about this is as far as I've made it. Wow. Well, the hard thing is about all these games is that's how it is. Three lives, no continues, that's it. I don't even think there's three men in this game because I don't see a scoreboard or keep a score or anything. Yeah, I don't see any scores either. But I guess I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. <laughs> Turn it left and right. This doesn't even look like there's any bosses. Oh, they got me. Well, that's it for Afterburner, guys. See you next time.